Recently, I've found that I've been talking a lot about Google My Business. This is because the most common question I get asked by business owners is how can I drive more leads and sales? And for local businesses, we always share that Google My Business is the key to driving more foot traffic, website traffic, phone calls, leads, and ultimately more sales. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now today, I'm excited to share an updated Google My Business tutorial for creating maximum results. And in this video, I'm gonna share seven simple strategies that you can execute to ultimately drive more leads and sales with Google My Business. Okay, now before we launch into this Google My Business tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and grow your local business with Google My Business. <music> Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into this ultimate Google My Business tutorial for creating maximum results in your local business. Now, before we dive into the seven simple strategies that I'm going to share with you today to drive more leads and sales through to your business, what we need to do is actually sign up to Google My Business. Now, if you don't already have a Google My Business account, then all you need to do is head over to google.com forward slash business and that's going to take you to this page. Now, if you're interested in following a step-by-step -step guide to signing up and creating a Google My Business account, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and I'll also link that tutorial down in the description below this video. And that video is going to take you through the process of initially signing up with Google My Business. Okay, so go ahead and sign up to Google My Business if you don't already have an account. If you have a Google My Business listing, then what we'll do is meet you inside your Google My Business dashboard and dive into the seven simple strategies to drive more leads and sales. So go ahead, sign up or sign in, and we'll meet you inside our Google My Business account. Okay, so here we are inside our Google My Business account for our local digital media and marketing agency. Now the first thing we want to do is navigate over to the left hand side and click on info. That's going to take us to the information section of our Google My Business listing and this is where we can ensure that our information on Google My Business is correct. So simply click info. And under information, what we want to do is make sure that all our business details are correct that we have listed here. Now to edit each of these sections, all we need to do is navigate over to the pencil icon. So take the time to go through your business information. You would have added a lot of this information when you initially signed up to Google My Business. Now the first strategy we want to share is all to do with your information. And if we scroll down to the bottom, what we want to do is make sure that our services section or product section, if you sell products, and then if we come down further, the description down here has keywords that are related to our business. For example, if we click this pencil icon next to our description, you can see that in our description, we have important keywords and search queries that we want to show up for on search engines like Google. For example, up here we have digital marketing. This is a keyword that we want to show up for. We also have web design, and then we have the location of our business. Then if we come down, we have other services or keywords that our potential customers will type in on Google to find our services. You can see we've got Google ads, social media, graphic design, and then we have other keywords that we've sprinkled throughout our description. What this does is sends signals to Google and this tells Google what our business is about. And remember the whole intention of Google is to satisfy the user's intent. So Google wants to provide the user who's searching for maybe your products or services, Google wants to give the user that information. And what you're doing is adding keywords throughout your Google My Business listing and this is going to signal Google and tells Google what your business is all about. 
So ensure that you have important keywords and search queries in your description. Now, if we come out of here by clicking cancel, we can also navigate up to services and products. So as you can see, we provide services. So if I click this pencil icon, and as you can see, that's taken us over to the services section on the left hand side. This is where we can customize, change and add our services. Now, if you're not a service based business and maybe you sell products, then what you want to do is follow the same process of embedding your keywords and search queries into the product section. So, for example, if I click products, and as you can see, that's going to take us to the product section where we can go ahead and add products if we sell products. Now, what we're going to do is navigate back over to the left hand side and click on info. And again, like I mentioned under info, you want to make sure that all your business information is correct. And you also want to ensure that you're embedding keywords related to your business products or services. Now, the second strategy is leveraging the website feature. So if we scroll down on the left hand side and locate website and click here, and this is where Google My Business provides a free website builder. This is where you can quickly launch a website based on the information you provided earlier under info. And what Google My Business is going to do is take all that information and create a website. Now, this is a very basic website. And like I mentioned, it takes all your information that you've submitted into Google My Business to create a basic website. You have basic editing options on the left hand side and when you're ready to go live all you need to do is click publish. Now we're not going to talk too much about the Google My Business website however if you do want to learn more about the Google My Business website maybe you don't already have a website and you're looking to quickly establish an online presence with a website then this is a good starter option so what i'll do is link a beginner's tutorial that will take you through the process of customizing and creating your website with google my business so what i'll do is i'll link that up above and i'll also add that down in the description below this video now if you don't already have a website however you find that the google my business website is too limited then what you can do is use google sites this is a free website builder that Google provides and allows you to customize each page the way that you like. You can also create multiple pages, unlike the Google My Business website, which is only one page, a single page website. So if you want to create a more comprehensive website with Google Sites, all you need to do is navigate up to your applications on the top right hand corner and then click here and then come down and locate your drive. Click here. And that's going to take you to your Google Drive. Then within your Google Drive, simply navigate up to new on the top left hand corner, click here and then come down to more. Then under more, you can see that we have Google Sites over here. Simply click on Google Sites. And this is where you can go ahead and simply create a more comprehensive website that you can then link to your Google My Business listing. Now, if you want to learn more about creating a free website with Google Sites, again, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and also down in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's navigate back to our Google My Business account. Next, we want to talk about the strategy of creating posts within Google My Business. Simply navigate up to posts on the left hand side. This is where we can view and create Google My Business posts. Think about posts as important updates that you can create and share with your audience, with potential customers, leads, those that are searching for your products, business or services. And to simply create a post, all you need to do is navigate up to the top and click one of these options. Or you can navigate down here and click this post option here. And then navigate up to the top and select the best option based on the type of post you want to create. Most commonly, you're going to use what's new. And this is a standard post. All you need to do is add a photo or video. Then you can write your post down here. You can also expand the text to see your entire text or description in here. And then we also have the option to add a button. So if we click here 
and then we can select any of these options. For example, if we were creating a post about a new product, what we could do is link this post to a product page for customers, potential customers to buy from our website. We can also click learn more and link to a page about our services or products that we're promoting through this post. We can also link to a sign up page or we can link to a phone number and that's gonna allow people to call directly through to your business from mobile and then once you've created your posts come down and you can preview your post before you publish but when you're ready to publish just simply click publish now if we exit out of this post now what you want to do is create at least one post one update per week now if you can do more if you can do two three four five posts per week that's going to be even better but to begin with if you don't have the time I would personally create at least one post per week and what you're doing is you're updating potential people that are searching for your products your services your business and you're also sending signals to Google showing that your business is active and this helps Google understand what businesses are still operating okay so remember to create at least one post per week consistently next we want to discuss photos if we navigate over to photos and this is where we want to make sure that all our photos on our Google my business listing are up to date so what you want to do is navigate up to the top and next to overview make sure that you have images under each of these sections so scroll through each of these sections up here and simply add images to each of those sections and this is not only going to inform your potential customers searching for your products or services to share what your services or your business or your products look like but it also sends signals to Google to share that your business is being updated. You have relevant and updated images and videos about your business products and services. So what you wanna do is consistently update your images. So for example, if you have a new product, new service, or maybe a new client, or you've just completed jobs, and make sure you're documenting, recording, taking photos of all those new changes and uploading them to your Google My Business list. And again, this is going to help inform your customers. It's also going to send positive signals to Google and help you rank higher and ultimately gain more exposure on the first page of Google. Okay, now following the discussion about photos, what we want to do is navigate over to reviews. And this is where you want to make sure that you're replying to all your customers reviews. All you need to do is click haven't replied and then reply to all those reviews. Now you can also navigate up to home and then on your home dashboard, if we scroll down to get more reviews on the right hand side and click share review form, what you can do is simply click here. And that's going to copy this link and then you can simply send this review form link to your customers that haven't left a review yet. So you can take this link and share the link on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter or any other social media platform. You can also send this link via email to your customers that have not yet left a review. And this is a quick and easy way to encourage your customers to leave a review. Okay, so if we exit out of this, okay, now let's move on to the sixth strategy. If we navigate over to the left hand side and then we scroll down to link to ads and click here, and this allows us to link our Google My Business listing with our Google Ads account. And there are many benefits to doing this. One of those benefits that we like to talk about on this channel is creating Google Ads with a location extension. So when you link the two together, what you can do is create a location extension within your Google Ads. And basically what you're doing is you're paying to appear at the top of the map listings, the snack pack on the first page of Google search. 
And this can be an extremely effective strategy for many types of local businesses. And if you're not currently using Google Ads, then this strategy is not going to be relevant to you. However, I recommend that you take a look into Google Ads to see if it's going to be a good option for you. And so what I'll do is I'll link a tutorial up above and below in the description that's going to take you through the process of creating location extensions so that you can rank number one in the snack pack, the Google map listings on the first page of Google with paid ads. Okay, before we dive into the last strategy that we want to talk about today, what we need to do is head back to our Google My Business dashboard. And, and then back in our dashboard, what we want to do is head over to info. And the seventh and final simple strategy that we want to dive into today before we finish up is all about building citations. Now, this is about further boosting your Google My Business listing, giving your Google My Business listing and your website more authority in the eyes of Google. And this is ultimately going to help you rank higher, which in turn will help increase your exposure on the first page of Google and drive more leads and sales. So citations are basically other important and relevant websites and directories online that you list your business information. And the more online relevant citations that you add your business details to, the better your Google My Business is going to perform and your entire online presence. Okay, so first what we need to do is identify our NAP, name, address and phone number. It's important that our name, so our name over here, our address down here, and if we scroll down we have our phone number. NAP, name, address and phone number is consistent across all the citations that we're going to add these details to. And this is all about building consistency online. So once you've noted down exactly how your business name, address and phone number appears online, what we need to do is then head over to whitespark.ca and then what we want to do is head over to whitespark which is going to share with you all the important and relevant local citations in your country that you want to add your business NAP to. So again, what I'll do is pop the link down below in the description that will take you to Whitespark. So go ahead, navigate over to Whitespark and we'll meet you there. Okay, so once we arrive at this web page within Whitespark, top local citation sources by country, we want to scroll down and then find your country. I'm based in New Zealand, so what I'm going to do is click on New Zealand. And that's going to take me to the best local citations in New Zealand. Now if I scroll down, I can see the top 20 citation sources in New Zealand. Then like I mentioned, the NAP, business name, address and phone number, I want to add those details to each of these citations. And like I mentioned, this is going to boost my Google My Business listing and ultimately drive more leads and sales. So go ahead and take the time to sign up to as many local citations as possible in your country. And those are our seven simple Google My Business strategies that you can implement right away to maximize your results with your Google My Business listing. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google My Business tutorial aimed at helping your local business drive more leads and sales. Now if you have any questions about Google My Business, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you next time. Take care guys.